Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video, guys. Today we're gonna to be reviewing and unboxing the decibels, the custom molded percussive filters. These are the most important part. There are many of these decibel like earplugs, but these are the ones with the percussive filters, and they what they're meant to do, if you don't know, is with this, it's supposed to be a regular earplug, so to stop like loud noise from coming in. But with this per percussive filter, it's supposed to make it so you can still hear regular talking. So I'm gonna test that out. So that if this is a $75 earplug, all right? If this is real, if this really works, this is incredible technology. If it doesn't work though, I'm buying it so you don't have to. Let's hop into a review. All right, so with the decibels, we it's already started like opening them, but this is what you get right as you open the box. You just get it's a little magnet right here for the box. It's a nice box. And then there's usually plastic right here, but I already took that out. But this is what it looks like. And the other thing, if you didn't know, these not only are they supposed to be allow you to talk through them, but they're supposed to also mold to your ears, like fit right perfectly for you specifically. So you wouldn't really be able to share them. Not that you really should like share earplugs. That's, I don't know, not probably a good idea, but so these are the earplugs themselves. And then they have in here, they have all the different sizes, like large, medium, and small for the, the tips. So we'll take these out and then you get this nice carrying case here. Which is actually, I mean, this is this is pretty nice. Nice little carrying case so you don't ever have to lose. Oh, there we go. And inside the carrying case has all the extra tips on them, which is awesome. Because then, oh, my phone is bust. Sorry about that. But then you don't have to worry about, like, if, if, you know, you ever get the wrong size, you feel like. You know, you're like, this needs to be bigger or smaller. It's all right there. And then you can carry this with you. You just throw it in your bag. Now, this, I don't. you could use this for many things. Like, mowing the yard, anything loud, using any power tools. I'm going to be using this at the gun range, assuming it works. And the reason I wanted to buy these for me personally is I'm going to be going deer hunting this year and I want it to be able to just have something in my ear the whole time. So I don't have to worry about taking a shot and blasting my ears, but I also still wanted to be able to hear my surroundings. So I believe that's everything inside the box. You get, looks like you get a thank you card in there as well. And then you get some, looks like you get some instructions. Yeah. And then it says the percussive filter has right here so can't really see this that well i don't think you kind of can little light glimmer but it, they're saying that they're good for 33 uh decibels well i believe it also says that somewhere here on the box let me double check i seen it online yeah impulse peak level it says on the back of the box as well just that little graph right there but yes yeah, and they're also made so heat oh i don't know sorry camera's getting come on camera focus up focus up camera do your job do your job. All right, but right here, the instructions are on the box. You have heat. You got to boil the foam, shape, shape into your ear, and then shoot. Like, you know, these are made for shooting. As you can see right here on the box, it looks like that's a guy holding a gun. And the best part about these is whenever you have the over-the-ear head muffs, let me go ahead and get mine. So these are my current everyday ear muffs, which are awesome because I can hear they have a microphone on either side, so I can hear everything going on. I can actually turn up what's going on, which is really nice. The problem is, though, like when you shoot a rifle and you have the... The stock of the gun right here sometimes it can bump it and it could break open that seal that barrier seal and that that hasn't happened to me thankfully but it could happen to you or if it doesn't happen to you it's just uncomfortable where you constantly have to readjust your stock so with these ideally it would stop the need for that you know because you would just you just have that ear plug in i should have put this at the beginning of the video but it's probably obvious so it doesn't really matter but these aren't these were not sent to me i'm not getting paid in any way i just so i i did try to get them to send me a pair of free ones i did email them but they didn't respond and i was still too excited so i wanted to try them anyway i was just seeing you know if i could help them help me kind of situation but edgar's currently getting scared because he doesn't like when i pull out the gun earmuffs so he's trying to break out of the room but i'm gonna go ahead and mold these so these are the percussive tips and see if i can do it right here yeah oh, just like that so, so the tip flies out just like this guy right here so this is the tip this flies out and then this part you put in boiling water you let it cool down and then you put it in your ear and mold it directly to your ear. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I currently have water in the microwave so I, because that's the instruction you're supposed to boil the foam. But I was taking apart so I could put the tips in. And this actually, I forgot, tot it comes with, totally forgot. It comes with the lanyard though, which is cool too. Like you can, if you, if you don't want to bring the case around, you can just put these on a lanyard. Or even if like, besides the case, like you can leave them in your ear in the lanyard, which is really cool. Like you can put the percussive filter inside the lanyard. I think that's pretty cool so you don't have to worry about losing them if you're not, you know, if you like the string behind your neck or even like outside of using them, you can just have this lanyard for keeping. But I think it's really awesome. And then these are all the tips. I'm not going to take them all out because I just want 
these ones right here these are like the triple the triple cone so i personally have a smaller ear canal so i'll be finding the smallest one i can get but they have small medium and large in here so but you can barely see but you see how it's like that triple cone so it's really gonna it's really gonna seal your ear because with these they're not like the earmuffs you have to be very careful when you shoot these or with these in i without even using them yet you have to really make sure that you have them really like tight to your ear so you're not breaking any sound barriers right there all right so i now have them in my ear as you can see so what's really nice about these i forgot to mention them earlier but when you are molding them if you mess up you can just remold them again like it doesn't matter so you don't have to worry about messing up which is something that's really awesome because i did mess up i put the percussion filter in on the wrong like in backwards or whatever but i was just able to stretch it out put it back in and then tighten it all back down but this is actually so this is my review right now this is the first time i'm wearing them so right now like i said they they stop 33 decibels of gunshots so i'm gonna have to test that here in just a little bit but i wanted to do my my initial review that i wanted to tell you guys was how well can i hear my surroundings because any earbud you can go buy any earbuds from any grocery store that'll block out gun sounds you don't have to worry about that but right now i can definitely like hear myself talking like i obviously there's gonna be i feel like there is just a tiny bit of um stoppage like there's a tiny bit of dampening but that could also just be because these are still like kind of warm they're still molding around but i would say that i could hear 90 percent or more 90 95 percent of what i could hear without them in like these like they honestly sound pretty good like i can definitely still hear better than like your your grandparents probably you know what i'm saying that's just teasing with you guys so far in this i would say that these are pretty good i mean i still have to go so now what we're gonna go do i like i said so far right now i'm gonna give this like a we're just gonna say so far we're gonna give it an eight out of ten okay right now i still have to wait for them to mold up see how they do are they molded but i have to see how they feel once they are like cooled down they're refreshed how well they travel but in this current moment what i can hear i can hear myself talking right now i can hear the fan going i mean i, I can hear things which is exactly what i want to be like i said these are specifically for me specifically going to be for like deer hunting and the other thing that's cool so i'm not going to go get my other my shooting range headset again i'm just going to get these out because when i pulled out my other shooting range headset it did scare edgar he does not like guns at all but let's just say these are my shooting range headset what you could even do is put your shooting range headset on over these if you wanted to and that would cause that would mean like so you're good to go you still have your shooting range headset on but then if the barrier ever get broke got broke yeah if it ever got broke sorry about that you would still have that extra layer of protection if you wanted to go that route because friends like i said i love my gun range uh shoot like headset i love those a lot and they amplify the sound those are awesome but so far i like this a lot what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go outside now and we're gonna start off shooting so we're gonna start off shooting my small caliber so my ruger 1022 we're gonna start off with that because that is the lightest gun sound that is one that like you still should have ear protection in but realistically if you didn't have ear protection that would be the least damage causing gun so we're gonna start with that one and we're gonna work our way up just to a nine millimeter and just see our you know, i don't know actually i'll have to figure it out but we'll see like we're gonna work our way up to some louder guns and see where we get and i'll let you guys know what i think but so these are the decibels and so far like i said the most important part of the percussive filter being able to hear my surroundings so far i like it a lot all right it's a real windy day but i brought the guns out here don't mind this uh little spot here in the bottom corner i just have an old phone and the screw protector but we brought out four guns that we're going to use to test out the percussion filter on the decibel earplugs i don't want to hear anyone get angry that i put two guns in the same bag these are my guns so we're going to start off with the ruger 1022 that is the lightest sounding gun that's the gun i was saying that you don't really i mean obviously you need ear protection but like if there's one gun that you don't need ear protection with it's the 1022 you should always wear ear protection though so we're going to start with that one the next one up is going to be the mark 4 ruger that's also a 22 2245 so this is the uh this will be the next one up then third we'll go to nine millimeter the cz 75 these are the, the decibels right here this is the little carrying case it's very nice and then the last test we have the ar-15 the ruger ar 556 now we will also put for the one shot for like at least the last shot i'm gonna put those earmuffs over the decibels just to see how it would work if you had both on at the same time all right so i have both of the percussive filters in right now and i can still hear like all the like the bug sounds going around now like i was saying 
earlier in the video, they are slightly dampened just because I feel like this can't be perfect technology. It's like a just a filter in there, but I can still hear all the bugs like through these pretty well. So let's go ahead and take some shots and see how well they actually protect against loud noises now and see if they're good or not. Okay, so far test number one with the Ruger 1022, these were just fine. With the Ruger Mark IV, once again, I feel like I did a pretty good job. You can still hear the gunshot. You can still hear the clinking of the metal when I hit it, of course. I'm, I'm about 50 yards out because, as you guys remember from my last episode, I accidentally destroyed my target, so I don't want to be too close to it just in case it didn't think ricochets. But it did a great job of muffling the sound. Let's go to the next gun, CC75 9mm. CZ-75, another great gun, 9mm rounds, and my ears are totally fine. No ringing. Once again, I can still hear the target clinging. I can hear the gunshot, of course, but absolutely no ear ringing. I feel like that did a great job. Let's go to the final test, the big boy, the AR-15. All right, now we're going to try one shot with the AR-15 with the impact sport headset on just to see if uh not for the extra protection but because of how much louder these can get these can actually amplify your surroundings pretty well and i just want to see how well they do if they're both together if you already owned a pair of these too i like it i thought that was pretty good i uh although i will say with just the decibels in i thought it was totally fine like i, I could see shooting i hear some now next now i know next time my wife comes out here i can give her these so she can hear me talk better and I can wear these because I can still hear her talking. I just don't have to worry about like turning it up. And I know that these work. And I, these, I like these a lot nicer with the AR. They are buttstock. You don't want, it always hits the edge of this. You don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. So the final review of the Dustable Percussive Filters. Are they worth it? Should you buy them? The $75 price tag on them. Is it worth buying? For me, I like these. I'm not going to return them. I, uh, I always buy everything on Amazon just in case like they end up being like lying, you know, like some like the, the technology in this is so unbelievable. I was like, I have I don't know if it's going to work like this is unbelievable and it's pretty good. Now, like I said, and after just testing it again outside, there is a little bit of a dampening like a tiny bit like so I can still hear like all the bugs and stuff like all the sounds of being outside, but they were slightly dampened. But I, I don't know. I think I think it's totally worth it, especially because these have zero batteries like it's. They just work. Now I do have to say any day of the week, I would prefer these only because, so they go over your heat, they go over your head and okay, they don't go in your ears. I personally don't like things like in my ears all the time, but you know, usually when you're at a gun range, you're not there like all day long, obviously, you know, you're, you're only using them for a little bit, but I will, I have to say I prefer these mostly because the microphone allows you to actually turn up the volume. So like, not only can you hear your surroundings, but you can turn it up. Like, so for instance, the other day, I was outside of my gun range and I heard my wife open the door from the house, which is across the yard, like our four acre yard across the total other side of the yard. And I could hear her opening the door like that. These are, these are nice, but these, these decibels are, I'm keeping them for sure. These would probably, I'll say might be my new, like main ear protection for ARs, because like I was saying, the biggest downside to shooting an AR is having that stock right here on your face. And sometimes if it kicks back, it can pop your ear muff out of place. Or it's just like overall uncomfortable with these. I had to like, I got to really adjust when I was shooting the 8 You guys could see it in the video. I got to really adjust and I felt super comfortable because there wasn't the big ear muff in the way. Like it was just these and it totally blocked out the sound of the gunshot. Like absolutely no problems at all. I am a total advocate for pure, pure protection. Okay. I don't want my ears damaged at all. So that is actually the reason why I bought these. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to be going deer hunting later this year. And everyone keeps telling me, you're only going to have to do one shot. You shoot one time at a deer. Your ears can take one shot. I don't want my ears to take any shots. I want my ears to have zero sound damage. So that's why I bought these. And I'm going to rock them while I'm deer hunting. 
The other fantastic thing about these is sometimes my wife comes out to the range with me and I always give her these, okay? She gets the main protection. And then I'll just have my other like Walmart headphones I have because these ones were also a little expensive. Not too bad, but you know, a little expensive. So I just have my Walmart earmuffs that I use and I can just, I can't really hear her that well in those. So now when she comes out to the gun range, I can wear these, especially because they're formed to my ear and it'd be gross to share. Like, I mean, I'm not going to show it to you, but I will say if you buy these, you're going to have to clean, <laughs> clean the ear tips uh, when you're done because I clean my ears every day and these things still, I mean, when you're shooting guns, like your, your insides of your ears like rattle, right? So you definitely have to clean them, but these are going to be my new go-to when my wife is using the main headphone or even like just a guest. If a guest comes over, I want to give them the best experience at my gun range they possibly can have. And so I can rock these comfortably. I, I love these now. I'm, I'm a big fan for $75. I know that's a heavy price, but in my opinion, you don't, I mean, they're great. You don't have to put batteries in them. I can still hear 90 to 95% of what's happening. So I know that like, so for instance, when I was wrapping up all those guns, I was listening to music on my phone and I could hear the music just fine. Like, you know, so these are definitely good. I would recommend them. But like I said, these are going to be my still my main go to headphones just because they actually amplify the sound. These are a fantastic backup pair or fantastic AR pair. Fantastic. Would recommend if you have them now, right? I've, I've only been able to find them online. You can find them on Amazon. They also have their website, but that's gonna do. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you want to check these out on Amazon and maybe buy them for yourself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because between now and December, so December's when we're gonna go hunting and after hunting season, if I have any other concerns or anything about these, they're gonna go right here on this channel. So you guys are gonna want to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the decibels, but that's my review. I think they're fantastic. I think they're worth the buy. And especially if you shoot any gun with a buttstock on it, they're definitely worth the buy. So there you go. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you all and goodbye.